Psalms 107 Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say this, those He redeemed from the hand of the foe, those He gathered from the lands from east and west, from north and south. Some wandered in desert wastelands, finding no way to a city where they could settle. They were hungry and thirsty, and their lives ebbed away. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and He delivered them from their distress. He led them by a straight way to a city where they could settle. Let them give thanks to the Lord for His unfailing love and His wonderful deeds for men. For He satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with food things. Some sat in darkness and the deepest gloom, prisoners suffering in iron chains, for they had rebelled against the words of God and despised the counsel of the Most High. So He subjected them to bitter labor. They stumbled and there was no one to help. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and He saved them from their distress. He brought them out of darkness and the deepest gloom, and broke away their chains. Let them give thanks to the Lord for His unfailing love and His wonderful deeds for men. For He breaks down gates of bronze and cuts through bars of iron. Some became fools through their rebellious ways and suffered affliction because of their iniquities. They lost all food and drew near the gates of death. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble and He saved them from their distress. He sent forth His word and healed them. He rescued them from the grave. Let them give thanks to the Lord for His unfailing love and His wonderful deeds for men. Let them sacrifice thanks offerings and tell of His works with songs of joy. Others went out on the sea in ships. They were merchants on the mighty waters. They saw the works of the Lord, His wonderful deeds in the deep. For He spoke and stirred up a tempest that lifted the high the waves. They mounted up to the heavens and went down to the depth. In their peril, their courage melted away. They reeled and staggered like drunken men. They were at their wit's ends. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and He brought them out of their distress. He stilled the storm to whisper, the waves of the sea were hushed. They were glad when it grew calm, and He guided them to their desired heaven. Let them give thanks to the Lord for His unfailing love and His wonderful deeds for men. Let them exalt Him in the assembly of the people and praise Him in the council of the elders. He turned rivers into a desert, flowing springs into thirsty ground, and fruitful land into a salt waste, because of the wickedness of those who live there. He turned the desert into pools of water and the parched ground into flowing springs. There he brought the hungry to live and they founded a city where they could settle. They sowed fields and planted vineyards that yielded a fruitful harvest. He blessed them and their numbers greatly increased 
and he did not let their hands diminish. Then their numbers decreased, and they were humbled by oppression, calamity, and sorrow. He who pours contempt on nobles made them wonders in a trackless ways. But he lifted the needy out of their affliction and increased their families like flocks. The upright see and rejoice, but all the wicked shut their mouths. Whoever is wise, let him hear these things and consider the great loves of the Lord. Psalms 108 My heart is steadfast, O God. I will sing and make music with all my soul. Awake, harp and lyre. I will awaken the dawn. I will praise you, O Lord, among the nations. I will sing of you among the peoples, for great is your love, higher than the heavens. Your faithfulness reaches to the skies. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be over all the earth. Save us and help us with your right hand, that those you love may be delivered. God has spoken from his sanctuary. In triumph, I will parcel out Shechem and measure off the valley of Sukkot. Gilead is mine, Manasseh is mine, Ephraim is the helmet, Judah my scepter, Moab is my wash basin, upon Edom I toss my sandal. Over Philistia I shout in triumphs. Who will bring me to the four-field city? Who will lead me to Edom? Is it not you, O God? You have rejected us and no longer go out with our enemies. Give us aid against the enemy, for the help of man is worthless. With God, we will gain the victory and he will trample down our enemies. Psalms 109 O God, whom I praise, do not remain silent, for wicked and deceitful men have opened their mouths against me. They have spoken against me with lying tongues. With words of hatred, they surround me. They attack me without cause. In return for my friendship, they accuse me. But I am a man of prayer. They repay me evil for good and hatred for my friendship. Appoint an evil man to oppose him. Let an accuser stand at his right hand. Then he is dying. Let him be found guilty, and may his prayer condemn him. May his days be few. May another take his place of leadership. May his children be fatherless and his wife a widow. May his children be wandering beggars. May they be driven from their ruined homes. May a creditor seize all he has. May strangers plunder the fruit of his labor. May no one extend kindness to him or take pity on his father's less children. May his descendants be cut off, their names blotted out from the next generation. May the iniquity of his father be remembered before the Lord. May the sin of his mother never be blotted out. May their sins away remain before the Lord, that He may cut off the memory of them from the earth. For He never thought of doing a kindness, but bounded to death, the poor and the needy and the brokenhearted. 
he loved to pronounce a curse may it come to him he found no pleasure in blessing may it be far from him he wore cursing as his garments it entered into his body like water into his bones like oil may it be like a clock wrapped about him like a belt tied before around him may it be the lord payment to my accusers to those who speak evil of me but you O sovereign lord deal well with me for my name's sake out of the goodness of your love deliver me for i am poor and needy and my heart is wounded within me i fade away like an evening shadow I am shaken off like a locust. My knees give way from fasting. My body is thin and gout. I am an object of scorn to my accusers. When they see me, they shake their heads. Help me, O Lord, my God. Save me in accordance with your love. Let them know that it is your hand, that you, O Lord, have done it. They may curse, but you will bless. When they attack, they will be put to shame. But your servant will rejoice. My accusers will be clothed with disgrace and wrapped in shame as in a cloak. With my mouth I will greatly extol the Lord. In the great throng I will praise Him. For He stands at the night hand of the needy one. To save His life from those who condemn Him.